If Jesus is God, then he's lying. Wait a minute. Glorify your son. What kind of mere human tells God to glorify him? I'm here now to debunk uh, Christianity in less than a minute. And to do so, I'll need my first witness, Jesus of Nazareth. Okay, so Jesus teaches in the Gospel of John that the only true God is the Father. Who's that? The only true God is the Father. For those at the back, the only true God is the Father. If the only true God is the Father, then Jesus cannot be God. If Jesus is God, then he's lying. If he's lying, it means he isn't God. Therefore, if Jesus says the Father is the only true God, he isn't God. If he's lying about the Father being the only true God, he isn't God. Therefore, Jesus debunks Christianity in less than a minute. Christians, you're welcome. Ah, uh, the Muslim debate specialty. False premises and false dichotomies. So this is a very popular verse quoted by Muslims and Unitarians who, out of ignorance, refuse to understand the doctrine of the Trinity, even though scripture clearly confirms it. This verse comes from a famous prayer by Jesus, and instead of ripping John 17, 3 out and isolating it, let's try something different, like reading it in context. John chapter 17. When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that the Son may glorify glorify you. Wait a minute, glorify your son? What kind of mere human tells God to glorify him? Oh, that's right, because he's not a mere human. Let's continue. Since you have given him authority over all flesh to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. Authority over all flesh and the ability to give eternal life? Man, sure sounds like a divine being. And this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. The only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent? It sure sounds like Jesus is affirming his oneness with the Father. Let's keep going. I glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. What kind of mere human prophet prays like this? Jesus was present with the Father before the world existed? I thought no humans existed before the creation of the world. So let's recap. Jesus is saying, I am the Son who is one with the only true God, my Father, whom the Father glorifies the same way that the Son glorifies Him, who can do all that the Father does, and the things that the Father does only the one true God can do. So Jesus can do all that the Father does, including give everlasting life. It sure doesn't sound like Jesus is saying the Father is the only true God with the exclusion of the Son. He's the only true God in union with the Son, the Son that shared the same glory with Him before the creation of the world, and will now share that glory again in his presence. Isn't it beautiful what you can learn reading things in context? In conclusion, John 17 3 does not prove that Jesus is not God, rather it affirms the unity of the Trinity and emphasizes the importance of knowing God through Jesus Christ. If you like the content, like, share, comment, subscribe for more and follow my social medias in the description below. I'll see you guys next time and may the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you.